um, also I had in during the admissions um, experience students who really focused on a few things and spent a lot of time doing those things including working or volunteering or committing themselves to a specific cause or you know an instrument or a sport or what have you and then I had students who were doing 10 things and really engaged in those so there's a whole range and it really depends on how much time you're committing to the activities um, what you're accomplishing with them and how enthusiastic you are about what you're doing. So um, that is about extracurricular activities. I don't really have, um, um, can't think of an important detail that students overlook when applying. Um, I think just the thing that a real human being is reading this application and their really trying to figure out who you are from the hundreds of other applications and so not thinking that there's a recipe for success not thinking that there's a formula that you have to follow but really showing who you are in the application looking at it as a whole and seeing does this paint a picture of who I am and what I'm going to bring to this community and what my interests are um, I think that's really what I would say is very important and sometimes students don't necessarily see that that is really critical and that the admissions officer and the admissions committee is getting trying to get a sense of who you are. Um, how is the admissions process truly holistic? Um, I would say yes. I think there are certainly um, certain criteria that if they are not met it's much harder for someone to be accepted into selective schools um, but uh, I the whole application does get looked at and even you know the admissions officer will get it and review it um, and make certain notes and then when it goes to committee the committee has all that information and some decisions might be made quickly but other decisions are you know slower and so there might be a lot more time spent on an application if the admissions committee has questions or what have you. Uh, but it is looked, it is a holistic process, I would say, overall. Um, but there are certain criteria that I think you want to see if you fit into. Um, and if you don't, then definitely look at making that a REACH school instead of a safety or a solid possibility type of school. Um, I think the only sort of advice I would have beyond that is just to really make sure that you are talking to the school counselor, talking to your teachers, talking to your parents, uh, really doing your research about the schools that you're interested in. Because when you commit to going to a school, it is for four years, and you want to think about what kind of school you want to be at. Think about whether you want to be at a big school or a small school a very urban environment or a more rural environment. Um, think about what you might want to study. Even though you don't have to have that decision made, you can play with that during the time that you're there. But think about the culture and, of, and the environment of the school and which one would best suit you. And I think rather than focusing on which school can I get into, um, which you don't have a whole lot of control over if you're in your senior year or at the end of your junior year you know much of uh, so many things have already you know most of you've taken your high school classes you've taken your testing um, you can work on having a strong application but you don't have control over which schools admit you so rather than focusing on that I think it's more important to focus on what do I want what kind of school do I want to be at and which school would I be at that would be the most enriching for me and college is about academics but much more than that um, it's four years for you to develop as an individual and so thinking about which type of environment you're going to be happiest in I think is the most important thing. Um, I don't think the name or the rank of the school is 
you know, the most important determining factor. I think the most important thing is where will you thrive and be happy and succeed. And I think that will then lead you to where you want to go next. So I would say spend a lot of time on the research, thinking about which types of schools you're most interested in and do your best in school and then give yourself plenty of time to work on the application and make sure it is the best reflection of who you are. Um, and if there are any additional things you want to submit, um, most schools do take additional things like artist portfolios or recordings of um, students' voices or playing instruments or um, things like that. But whatever is going to show you in the best light is what I would focus on presenting. So thank you very much. Um, good luck with the whole application process and just enjoy high school.